In this tutorial, we'll show how we can insert some symbols in Jupyter. Sometimes we could do it through uh, LaTeX commands, similar to when we insert an equation. Uh, but it's uh, just an easy way of doing it without LaTeX. And uh, something called a uh, what's it called? See a Unicode, a unified code, or something. It's an HTML. Again, Jupyter really follows the rules of uh, HTML coding or scripting. So I'll show you real quick how to do that. Uh, it's a long list, probably thousands of thousands of symbols. They could be uh, uh, characters from different alphabets, for example, the Greek alphabet, or it could be different shapes. It could be mathematical shapes. It could also be geometrical shapes. It can even be uh, emojis and smileys and so forth. So the way to do that is, is quite uh, simple. Here's an example. We use the uh, ampersand followed by hashtag, and then comes the code. And this is a decimal code. So let's say, for example, 9580. I have no idea what that code is, but this is code number 9580, and that number represents a specific symbol, and then a semicolon. So, so let's see how it looks like. Execute it, so shift enter, and it's this weird shape. Let's try uh, another one. So let's go up to the um, Change this into a mark down here and do ampersand hashtag. Let's do 3400 semicolon and then see what that is. Oh, that's some weird stuff. I have no idea what that is. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, let's uh, mark down here and say um, there's a website we can go to. I found one here. This is a let's see what it what is it called then? It's the HTML Unicode UTF-8 reference. And it's just a long list of right here. Here's a decimal code that we can use. And let's say for example geomet geometric shapes, we can click on that one. See what happens. Okay. Then we get into all these different metric shapes. We have the code, so if we put those codes in, that's what we will see. Okay, so let's go back to this main site here. I'm gonna do a copy paste. I'm gonna go to the internet markdown and say code can be found here. Let me provide a the actual web address for it. Okay, codes can be found here. So now we have that place, so we can just go into that website and enter those codes if we need to implement those into our documents.